Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to another Mystery Game production. And in today's Sunday surprise, as you can see, we are heading back to Germany as we play a bit more Breach and Clear. Now, if I remember rightly, I believe we was on mission three when we last left off. So last, let's just have a little look. Mission two is complete. Mission three is indeed our next one. So Operation External Profit. The terrorist staging area has been discovered. Take them out and secure this camp before assaulting the main base. So, let's do it. Let's take this little camp. Or... Not so little camp, by the looks of it. I think we might have quite a few people to deal with. These boxes are suggesting someone's going to be over here. Definitely going to be someone poked here. We've got a back alley where some guy's probably going to be hidden. We've got this room we need to clear out well. Could be some tucked around here. That is shouting out there's going to be people shooting down here. So this entry point is not looking great. Um, I don't know if we go 1-2 split or a 2-2 two -two split. Two two split. We're going two two split. So me and Lee are going to take the B option, whilst Ruslan and Joe go and take the A option. So that is our setup. Yep, as you can see, all of these are bang out in the open. I think step one, get this secure. Step two, move these through. So. What I really want to do is get one of these to the tree. I'm going to get Russ Lancer here. On this side, we'll keep Joe watching over. Over here, we'll both go to this door. Because hopefully this room is clear. Fingers crossed. But we are going to risk it for the biscuit. So. First of all, we are going to... Get... Consider it done. Lead to move up. Lee is going to watch across like that. That way if anyone comes through here, we are okay. Done. I am going to move up to here, where I get a lovely crossfire going on this guy when he comes back, and these. These are going to get shot in the back as Ruslan makes his way over to this tree. He can take this guy out and this guy out and take some fire from these. Whilst yes, sir. Joe then moves up to this tree. Now, he is going to ignore these. He's going to keep an eye on this area for now until he can get across and then we'll get a crossfire going as we try and get out of this doorway. So, that is it. He's moving back over there. I think this is a good time to breach. Let's go. Oh, there was a guy in the room. Doesn't matter though, we took him out. We've also taken this guy out behind the log. And that was pretty successful. Nobody's taken any damage. So, I have this watch. Now, he stood in the open. He's dead. That guy is absolutely screwed, quite frankly. So what we need to be doing is... You deal with that. No, no, don't be running out in the open like that. That'd be crazy. Um, no, Ruslan. No, 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 no. Ruslan. Please, just... Hold your position for now. You've got a nice spot. I want you to take this one guy out and watch in case anyone else comes. Done. Joe, I want you to tuck yourself back around the corner now. Actually, no. You know what? Keep them firing at you. Keep them occupied on you for now. You've got full cover. You should be okay at this distance. In fact, what's he got? He's got a sniper by looks of it. 
or some sort of laser sight. So probably not a good idea to keep there in fact. Go just drop back and watch for any pushes. In fact, drop back to here. They can't watch you but you can watch this. We're going to try and eliminate this guy and anyone pushing through before we deal with this mess that's over here. I am going to assist with a flashbang over here. So, flashbang can go out. Ooh. If only I could get it a bit further over, I could get these all flashed into next week. But unfortunately I can't. So, Lee, you just continue with that. Hold the doorway. And that shall be... Yes, hold. You're holding, I'm flashing. Joe is doing Joe things. And that is that. Moving. Let's take a few. Well, Joe's taking a little bit of damage. Which is a shame. But, we have taken this guy out. This is all clear out now. These guys rushing in have, well, completely failed at that. We then have these poor saps over here who are now flashbanged into next week. In fact, that flash has just affected all of these because there was crazy enough to actually be looking. So, can we get Ruslan near enough to do a throw and go with a frag grenade? No. We need it the other way around. We need a go and pro, not a pro and go. So. First lap. Move normal speed, my friend. I need you to move up to here. Secure this area. Whilst those guys are flashbang, Joe, you can make your way up and out of there. Guess across to this tree, where you're going to... No. No, we've got to utilise the fact the flashbang. So, Joe. Go to this tree, where I think you can get the guys on the edge. Let's just double check that. Yeah, you can shoot at these three. You can't, unfortunately, get an angle on these, but... We can. As we come out. So... Yes, Lee, I need you to take point right now. You are going to... In fact, this guy is flashbang, so Lee's going to watch that. In fact, Lee, do you have a flashbang for this guy? No. That is a shame. Um... Lee can just hold for now, I think. If Lee holds the angle, I'm pretty Roger. sure I can get across to here. It's risky, but I think I can make it. So let's do it. We're going to try and make it across to here. If we can get three of us over on this side, that would be fantastic. Because it means Lee can work his way through this door when we do secure this right hand side. Now, I'm going to go and try and run across, and let's pray. I'm now getting shot, the flash are worn off. How I didn't take any more damage than I did, I don't know, but I am happy with that one. So, Ruslan, move up to that corner, secure that. We will then have me. Stay sharp. Now, I am going to fall back to here, where I shall secure this doorway. Check your corners. Joe, you are going to move up to this tree. Go, just move up to this tree. That way you can watch if anyone tries to rush Lee. Lee can hold that doorway. Got it. So, Lee, you're holding the doorway yet again, watching for anything over here. And yes, sir. We are going to move up. I safely got around the corner, checked into the room. This guy has been dispatched off. 
and we are making good progress. Now, first lab, move up to here. We're going to keep you in some cover. I am going to work my way Done. through this building. So, move up to here. Take over the doorway, because all of this appears to be clear. We then have Roger. Joe. Now, Joseph, you, my friend, can... I guess, work your way up. Hmm. See, they're all trapped on this box at this point, so... Joe, I really don't want him pathing that way, that's for sure. I think what I do is I just get him to yes, sir. move up. Yes, sir. Here. And just get him On. nearer. Lee, again, just hold the angle. You're just going to sit there and relax for a little bit. In fact, you can the fire from this guy, because Ruslan is about to flank him. So if you can just stay up for a second. In fact, me and Ruslan are about to flank him. So, Ruslan, you are going to move up and secure normal speed. Now, let's do this the right way around. Right, Ruslan, move up, secure that angle. I'm then going to follow him straight up. Come here, shoot this guy in the back. We then have Lee shoot again. He's just going to draw fire by holding that position. Joe, you are going to... You know what, Joe? Med up. Get your health back up. Just make sure you stay yes, up. Sir. That guy taken care of. I'm now drawing fire from these guys. That works out perfectly because that means Ruslan can now come in and shoot them in the back. It also means on his next turn he can throw a grenade. So, <laughs> Ruslan, get over there. Roger. I'm going to hold that angle. This guy is pretty screwed. Then have Joe. Now Joe is going. I ain't gonna be able to flashbang him from there. I need to get closer with Joe. So Joe, move up to here. Joe's not really doing a whole lot other than moving for this turn. Yeah. Lee, again, hold position. I know you're not actually watching anything yeah. at this point, but it stops pushing forward. I'm now falling back over here. I should have checked for this corner. That was a mistake on my part. But it's okay. Okay. Well, at least we know the grenade works. But we're not doing that right now. What we are doing is... Moving back to here, where this is just a one-on-one. -on -one, so none of these can get involved. I am then going to come up behind this guy and just make sure he dies. We then have yes. Joseph and his technical a dream coat, who is going to make it over to here. Now he's going to be stood a bit in the open if this guy moves to this table, but we should be okay. Yes, sir. And you can hold that position. Go. Let's go. Oh, he's already dead. Never mind. That was a bit of a waste of a turn, then. Doesn't matter, though. We are positioned quite nicely. So, Consider I it done. am going to move over to this corner. That gets me a shot off on this guy. Ruslan. Get your grenades out, my friend. Okay. Can't grenade yet. 
He has to wait a turn. Great. So. Ruslan. No, don't grenade yourself. That is a really stupid idea. Move to that corner and shoot these guys. Joseph, can you get a flashbang off on these guys? That would be great. Okay, I'm I'm gonna test something here. I wanna know if it works off radius or if that is actually gonna flash them because they can see it. So let's throw it and find Consider out. Consider it done. Because that would make more sense. That's gonna flash them because they can see it. Oh Jesus, I apologize for spinning it like that. So that is that. Let's position the camera and we Probably. shall breach. Flash. Oh, get in there. These flash because you can't see. And they are down to four gentlemen who we have pinned down. So, frag grenade. Don't think I'm going to get the radius on this guy, am I? Mm, not really. He's just out of reach, I think. Do we test it? In fact, if it's on the other one, it should be close enough for radius, but I'm not sure if the boxes are going to protect him. Um, I don't think we bother, to be honest. I think... I just keep holding that. Can I get this half wall guy? Yes, I can definitely hit this half wall guy. I can also refrain from doing that with the camera. Can Ruslan get him? Ruslan can get him from this angle. So Ruslan, just hold. Your job is going to hold. Stay sure. I am also going to hold. So I've got all cover. I've got line of sight on this guy. If we can trim it down to these three, they're not going to have anywhere to stand or really positionally set themselves up. I do need to stop moving that there. Um, ooh, Lee has a flashback. Interesting. Lee, throw a flashback. Because on your next turn, you're going to make a run up. Yes, sir. Joe, you are going to come here and shoot this guy who's out in the open. So hopefully we can take this guy and this guy out and leave it to these two. I mean, we got one of them. Definitely got one of them. That is a star. Ruslan, hold. Done. Hold. Done. Lee, you are going to make the biggest YOLO run of your entire life. You're going to run here, shoot this guy in the back. Consider it done. Joe, you are going to hold and draw fire. The three of us are going to just chill out here, draw fire. In fact, he can't get an angle from there on that guy. So, Joe, can you please not hold. I need to make one more step forward. And I still can't get an angle on him. Great. Well, since that's the case, Joe, I want you to make a really gutsy run. I want you to come and stand right here. And just shoot straight at them. On. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Joe and Lee double team that guy. These two are now trapped behind the boxes. Now the plan is... Joe, you've taken fire. You've done your job. You are now going to go to here. And shoot at them. Um, no, we are not running that route. That's ridiculous. Game, what are you trying to do to me? I guess he's going to stand here, full cover, make sure they're trapped. But then, have 
Lee. He is going to make his way to the doorway. In fact, he has to go to the other side of the doorway. Where he shall crossfire them. Then, of course, Ruslan and myself are going to just watch the hold. Hold. And now we... Check it. Come on. At least take one of them out. Or not. We go again, ladies and gents. We go again. So. First lamp. You... You know what. First lamp. Hold. Me. Done. Hold. We're getting aggressive with Joe and Lee. Roger. Lee, make your way up there, my friend. Just come up there, shoot these guys in the back. Done. Joe, also, same thing. Come over here, shoot these guys in the side. Done. There we go. One guy down. He's getting shot from all sides. Surely he doesn't Marcus live. Down. No, Area he doesn't. He's got two guys on top of him, two guys at range shooting him in the side. And we have made it through this level. Took a little bit longer than I thought. It actually did take quite a while to get through that mission. We are though going to play one more in today's episode. So, what level ups do we have? We might have level ups across the board. Depends how far we go up. No, we don't have any level ups. I didn't level up, so no one else is going to level up. Joe lagging a little bit behind, Ruslan of course also lagging behind, and we have a sniper rifle ladies and gents. I kind of want to buy it before this mission but we'll jump straight into it. We can always use it on the next episode. Now this is a condensed map. That makes things arguably easier. The problem is though, guys are going to be tucked inside these trains, I know it. They're going to be tucked hiding inside the train tiles and it's not going to be a fun experience so if we come out of a one's gonna have to go and watch down here the other's gonna have to move to watch across here i think we go 1a 3b b has a lot more cover to work with but i don't think we can just go from one point so Ruslan, you are going to go alone, my friend. We are going to go here. Jesus, Ruslan, you are walking into a shooting gallery. Look at that. Four guys all standing there watching. This guy with his back turn. This one is going to get interesting. Ruslan, run up. Gonna get wild, ladies and gents. We are going in fast. Lee, gonna assist over there. I'm going to run. In fact, can I just flashbang them off the off? No, I cannot. I'm going to run in and support from... Can I see over these? No, I can't see over these. Right. In fact, Ruslan, you're not going to make that gutsy run because that is far too crazy. Ruslan, I need to move you off there. Right. Cancel your plans, Ruslan. You are going to hold where you are and watch round. We're going to have Roger. me going to this side, since Lee's gone to the other side. That's going to get a fire on here. We are then yeah. going to have Joe supporting me by... No, not that tile. The one next to it. That one. That just means if anyone runs through here, we are nice and secure from that. So, let's breach. Got it. Gunfire about to go down straight away. The fire. Me and Lee shoot them in the side, and that went down pretty well, I'd say. Are they near enough to frag? No, they are not. But they are near enough to flash. 
throw. Throw and go. You're going to throw the flashbang or a slant, and then you are going... Actually, no, 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 no. This is not the time. It's a gutsy call, but it's too gutsy. Joe, do you have a flashbang? You have a flashbang. Interesting. But not particularly useful. Lee, however, flashbang. Throw it right on top of these three guys. Them guys are probably going to get hit by it also. We then have Roger. Joe, who... You know what? We can give up this plank. They're all going over here for some reason. So, Joe... You can move over here and assist in shooting all these. Done. First lad, you're going to hold that position. Consider it done. I am also going to hold this position. Do we use two flashbangs? Probably not a good idea. So I'm just going to hold this and watch over at these guys. Yes, sir. It is a massacre, ladies and gents. All of them have just been taken out. Finally, there's a guy over here. Sneaky man, right next to the fence. I will say that. And I definitely don't want Ruslan running out like that. That is absolutely crazy. But there is a sneaky guy over here who we need to deal with. So, are you serious now? I can't actually get an angle with Ruslan. That is troll. Um, Roger. So, I'm going to switch up my focus onto this guy. We're both stood out in the open, so that's a fair fight. In fact, it's going to be even more fair when Ruslan comes and stands here, right next to me, and helps also. We then have Joe over here now. Joe is going to no, he's not going to re-flashbang him, because he can't. Leave. Move up on this guy, and shoot. Yes, sir. Joe, also move up on that guy. And shoot. 2v1, got you've got it. got it. Oh no, he's running away. Oh no, Ruslan's out in the open. Get him cover. Get Ruslan back in cover. Unfortunately, I can't go back to the other tile because it's now out of the map. But did we deal with this guy? No, we've not dealt with that guy yet. Great. Ruslan, just drop back to here and watch the cross. Um... Joe, this be a nice town for that flashbang. To be honest. Um, unfortunately, you don't have the position for it. So, you need to move up. Right, Lee, you're the point man. You are the one for the big gutsy calls. So, you're going to go first. And Joe's going to come in supporting you. We're going to make sure we keep watching behind there. Any sneaky people. Got it. Ruslan, in fact, don't fall back to there. I want you to fall back to here. They can't see you. So 2v1 on this guy. 2v3 up top. This guy don't know what he's watching, but he can figure that out in the end. I'm holding my position. And let's see how this goes down when I don't move my head. I mean, these guys were dealt with nice and swiftly. Me and Ruslan really need to work on our aim. This guy is still up, which is worrying. But then again, his aim is great anyways, because look at our health. We are still up and ready to go. So there is that. On it. I am going to flashbang here. Ruslan, you are going to 
hold up that man. We are then going Roger. to have yes, sir. Lee again. He's going on his big flank. I wish this tree would get out of my way. Tree. Tree. Thank you. Okay, that's so much better. We're going to shoot this guy in the back. So, Lee can move up to here. Where you can shoot the guy in the back. And Joe will also move alongside him. Can you please give me a better angle to see? There we go. That tree is really awkward, I must say. So he's going to go that, and that's been played out. He's been flashbanged, he's dead, and he should be dead soon as Target's well. Down. Area clear. So that is another mission out of the way. That one, a little bit quicker than the previous. And we also did better. We got four stars instead of three. So, let's get some levels up in, ladies and gents. I should have leveled up. Leo level up. Pretty sure Joe and Ruslan should level up as well. Even though they are trailing behind a little bit. Am I right? Joe has made it. Will Ruslan make it? Poor Ruslan is the only guy still stuck on level 12. The rest all up to level 13. Now, as you can see, our money's growing back a little bit. So, in the next episode probably going to end up spending a bit of that cash. We'll do our levels up before we leave today. So we have five points to give to me. Now, reactions aren't great. Health, accuracy. Hmm. Honestly, I'm feeling these maps right now. I need a bit more speed. So I'm giving me some speed. In fact, we're all taking speed. That will be our upgrades for today, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you all for watching. As you can see, this is going to be our map at the start of the next time we play Breach and Clear. And it's a big one. So, thank you all for watching today's episode. I'm going to back out of this because it's quite noisy. Thank you all for watching today's episode. I hope you all have a lovely night and have a lovely week ahead of you next week. Goodbye.